Welcome everyone to another Structure Deck unboxing. In this video we are going to be unboxing Gear Gear Rampage, another Structure Deck. That's a first edition as you can see. This one's a little bit older. I know I've been actually unboxing a bunch of 2018 and 2019 Structure Decks lately, but this one is not. Let's take a look at the back over here really quick. Alright, so first thing you'll see is that there's actually a shit ton of Gear Gear cards. Um, it's ridiculous, but you know what? It's good. It's um. It's a pretty sizable archetype, um, pretty decent in some ways. It's actually kind of cool, and it does have some uh, some staples in here that are definitely um, a good cards to have, especially first editions of these. So let's open it. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, actually, you know what? Just fuck it. Just just rip it. Just tear. Actually, what the heck? Oh my god! They really they really wanted to steal this one, huh? That's I'm just gonna go ahead and rip it open because I am not preserving these decks anyway, you know. So to me. It's perfectly fine if I do this. Now, to people who want to preserve the box, yeah, I think you might want to be careful, you know? Alright, so that thing is gone. Let's go ahead and take a look at all this. I'm going to get rid of this protection thing here. Okay, so they give you this here, which is basically your little tips and tricks thing, as you can see. This is a little, little different than some of the, you know, what some of the modern decks, of course, do. But wait a minute, they don't... Are you serious? They don't even give you a beginner's guide. Unless I got it stuck. Oh my gosh. Is this like the first deck I've ever seen that doesn't have a beginner's guide? Jesus. Alright. So here's Girja Rampage. Um. Wow. Look at that. This one is so... What the fuck? It also doesn't have any labels on it. I mean, it is a mat regardless of playing that because you do see the squares. But it doesn't have any labels on there. It's very interesting just how different Konami approached Yu-Gi-Oh! during this era when it came to decks specifically. No beginner's guide, the mat is different, they give you this little, you know, tips and whatever, I don't know. Alright, so, that's cool. Alright, let's do this, let's do this. Here we go. So, here are the cards, as you can see. Let's go ahead and take a look. So we start with the cover card called Gear Jagir Gi Gi oh my god, Gear Jagir Gigant XG. It's a rank three. Focus, please. There we go. All right. So it says three level three monsters. Oh man, that's that's crazy, huh? It's generic for level three for level three monsters, but yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool card, you know, for Gear Gear decks, of course. First edition, always nice to have that one. Well, that's cool. Then next one is this one. Gear G oh my god some of these names are actually so hard to pronounce because like you in a, in a way it looks like it's saying like gauge but it's no it's gear 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 jogger gear judge oh my god i am so bad at i'm gonna butcher all these names i'm also not a i'm not very knowledgeable when it comes to the gear jar type i'm really not you know man so that's another one right there okay then we got two supers we got Girgiano Mark 3, whoops, or MK3, whatever, you know, that's cool, yeah, there is actually MK and MK2, you'll see those in just a little bit, but yeah, that's that one right there, that's another one, pretty cool, and the last uh, foil is Girge Attacker, level 4 Earth, as you can see, Machine, 1900 Attack, once per turn you can change this card to face in defense position, when this card is flipped face up, you can destroy any number of spell traps in the field, up to the number of other Gearja monsters you control. And high stats too. Pretty cool. Pretty nice. Nifty card to have. Alright. Now we're going to take a look at the common. So here is Gearjano. And like I was saying before, there's a Mark III right there. But this is the original one. They give you two copies of Gearjano. Basically it says, you contribute this card. Then target one level 4 machine type monster in your graveyard. Special summon it, but its effects are negated. Essentially letting you swap a card, you know, getting rid of one to summon another one. Then you get your Gear Jono Mark II to give you two of this one as well, so that's kind of nice. It says when this card is normal or flip summoned, you can special summon one Gear Jono Monster from your hand or graveyard in defense position. Pretty nifty. So you get your regular, your Mark II and Mark III. Gear Jono Accelerator. Then you got Gear Jono Arsenal. Gear Jono Armor. Okay, so a few more Gearja cards there, alright. Then you get your 
two copies of green gadget, two copies of red gadget, and two copies of yellow gadget for six total gadgets. That's really cool right there. Oh, I just ruined that. Okay, there we go. Then you get your Ancient Gear Gazeltron Chimera and Ancient Gear Gazeltron Dragon. They put these two because these actually gain effects from tributing gadget monsters, even though they're not that great, especially this thing is a piece of trash. Oh my god, but this thing has some play at some point, but um, even nowadays it's not that great. It's, it's really not. It actually was the cover card of Machine Revolt, which came out back in 2005 or 6. Yeah. We got Jumbo Drill. Minefield Driller, okay, and then we got Car Trooper, and okay, so this is where you get some more of the more, I guess, universal, like, monsters, like Car Trooper, sort of Scarecrow, you know, that kind of stuff, it's some nice support, and you get Oil Man, Heavy Mech Support, uh, Platform, okay, then here you get your two giant rats, which are, you know, battle floating cards, that's pretty cool to have, of course, and then moving on to Spells, you get two copies of Gear Town, first of all, not a bad card to have. And you get one limited removal, always nice, especially for um, OTKs. Machine Assembly Line, they give you a Fissure and a Smashing Ground for some monster destruction. Double Summon is never bad. Um, creature Swap, okay, and then the Terraforming, always another card to have, um, you know, um, first edition of, really good. Then, Gear Jagir, Stronghold and Moving Fortress, Metal Morph. Rare Metamorph and Rollout, I'll talk about that one in just a little bit, but these are your traps. Metamorph was a card that was really great back when it came out in the very early days of Yu-Gi-Oh. My god, how the days just passed by so fast. Rare Metamorph, Rollout, cool stuff, you know. What is this one again? Special Summon, two Gear Jano monsters from your deck and increase your levels by one. You can only activate one per turn. Hmm, cool. Alright, and the very last one, you might have already seen, it's another Link monster, actually. Link. Xyz monster, my bad. It's a ring four gear gigant X. Okay. Two level four machine type monsters. Once per turn, you can detach one Xyz material from this card. Add one level four lower machine type monster from your deck or graveyard to your hand. When this card leaves a field, you can target one level three or lower gear to monster in your graveyard special summon that target. Yeah. So that's gear gigant X, and this one over here is uh, gear to gear gigant XG, essentially an upgraded version of that other card. So yeah, that is it for the deck. As you can see, um, it has some pretty good staples here and there, um, but if Gearjas and really machines in general are not your thing, you might not really want to get this one, but if they are, this is a perfect deck for you because it's going to have a lot of really viable options. So yeah, that's it. So if you enjoyed this episode in any way, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. I appreciate it very much. Thank you, and as always, I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great and, of course, a fantastic day.